So hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it is a absolutely beautiful Saturday, almost afternoon. Actually, it is afternoon by the time I got out today. Uh, the wind is, looks like it's finally calmed down a little bit. Uh, so I thought I would try to get out for a couple hours. The mahi season is in full bloom right now. And uh, everybody, but everybody, who's got a boat is down here picking up mahi. So uh, follow me today. I'm really excited about getting out because it's been a while since I've been offshore. And uh, yeah, I got to get out there because the competition out there is going to be stiff. So follow me. It's going to be a great afternoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. First fish of the day. All right, we're going to take a chance here. Put that in. Hopefully he'll stay. We can't give him any slack. I've got to get this one in. I don't know if he's still on or not. Yep. I had this one way out. I don't think he's a big fish. And if I'm lucky, it'll be a tuna. He hasn't jumped, so I'm assuming it's a tuna. Not a monster. But somebody you can be proud of. He hasn't seen the boat yet. Oh, yeah. Got a little head shake there. That was good. Got my slow pitch jig uh, rod ready to go in case I see anything on the machine. Whoop, 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 whoop. Little head shakes there. He's trying to get, trying to get a little line. Good, good, good. Nice. Keep it coming, baby. Come on. Okay, now this is where the real fight happens here. This is it. Getting them close to the boat. This is where we make a break. It. No color yet. Ah, there's a little bit of color down there. We're in 270 feet of water. It's a little deeper than it was last time. There we go. Come on. No underwater shot. Just got leader. We're at the leader. There we go. Come on, baby. A little bit more. Like you're gonna be a flipper. And yeah, first black fin of the day. Look how pretty. What a beautiful, pretty fish. And that means sushi. Nice. God, I love these black fins. I love these black fin tuna. Look, perfect sushi size right there very nice happy to get him happy to have you on board my friend anybody with him, so we're just going to bring him on board. Just under 20. 
Different species, wrong size. Fish on, fish on, fish, fish on. I just, I watched that thing get hit. Now the trick is going to be to get it down. The trick is going to be to get it down. And then hold it. Ho, 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 he's a good fish. A trick. <sighs> yes. Got a good fish on. I watched him come up and hit it. So here's the deal. Here's what worries me a little bit. Very close to the boat. So probably not a tuna. But not a mahi because he hasn't come out of the water. So I'm hoping that a barry. And if you hit it that close to the boat, then so be it. I got some head shakes. It looks like a tuna. Oh yeah. It's a little bigger than the other one. Oh sure. Nice. So tuna up close. Tuna up close. Good one. Nice fish. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. A butterball. He is a fatty. There you go, buddy. I'm loving you, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, so bleeding him out. Now, now the trick is to see, are there tuna in the area? So might be able to do a little uh, slow pitch digging. I don't see him on the machine yet, but I think we're gonna we're gonna troll around this area. Nice, nice, yes. Okay, got him bleeding out. Got the other one up. Gonna come around. Tuner of the day. Uh, it's the middle of the day. It was at 250 feet of water. So they're in, they're in pretty shallow. It's not like they're out five, six, seven, eight hundred feet. I mean, they might be. But I'm not going out there. So I don't have to. So that was on the bigger uh, feather. There's, we have a real small one and then a really a bigger one. Like probably maybe almost three times the size. Just popping, popping, popping. And very unusual for that tuna. He came up pretty close behind the boat to hit that plug. So, quickly made a U-turn, and now we're going to troll that same area. So here's the deal. Um, I don't know if they are traveling really, really fast, or if they are just dispersed all around. There are a lot of boats out here today, a lot of traffic. Um, I haven't seen as much bait as I saw when I came out the last time. So, I'm not seeing them on the machine down deep. So I think, what I think personally is that they're spread out. They've just got to cover a lot of ground. 
they're out here. They just got to throw them what they want, and they cover a lot of ground. So maybe next week, week after, they'll start to get together in schools again. Also, the weed is everywhere, and it's in pieces. So you can't find, like, big patches. It's all cut up. Um, it could be because of the wind. Uh, so bad for so many, so many weeks. So there's little, little bits of, of uh, weed everywhere, and you're catching it all the time. So you got to be real vigilant, you know, keep reeling them in, get rid of the weed, throw it back out. I try to go as weedless as I can, which means hiding that hook inside the skirt. Have that skirt come over, the, over that hook just a little bit. Wait until I show you our latest thing. I am so obsessed with this. It's so good. Blackfin tuna we caught. So blackfin tuna, tuna fish sandwich. Wow, it's one of my favorites. Hmm. Best tuna I've ever had. You like it? That is the best tuna I've ever had. We don't ever have to buy tuna fish in a can again. I know, it's so exciting. This is great. I need to go back fishing. Yeah, no kidding, get to it. Immediately. <laughs>